Hi guys, this is only a short follow-up to my last video about the compatibility issues between GTA 5 and the new R9 300 series graphic cards from AMD. And as I already told you, I could fix the problem by quitting three applications, in my case it was Chrome, Skype and TweetDeck. And maybe in your case there are other applications and you may not have installed once I have, so you just leave them out or add your applications in what I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you how to write a batch script which will close these applications for you automatically so you don't have to do it yourself every single time you want to play GTA 5 just to save some time. What we're going to need is either the Notepad++ application, exactly this one, Notepad++, or the trusty old Windows editor, which you can just bring up by searching for it in a Windows search. What we need to do now is, we, well basically we don't need to do it, but it will help help later on to save the file is setting the language to batch in notepad++ and I'm going to just paste a few commands here we're going to use the task kill command with the following parameters it's slash f space slash im space and then followed by the name of the application we want to exit or to to quit and like I said I also need to close TweetDeck, so I would write task kill slash f slash i i am, and now I really need to find out what the exe file of TweetDeck is called directly. How I'm going to do that? I'm going to bring up the task manager, and I click on TweetDeck, and I'm going to the menu point open file directory or open directory it should say in English something like that basically the point where the file is stored and after Windows have opened the Explorer at the location we want we see that TweetDeck is called TweetDeck with capital letters on Tweet and Deck and so we have to uh, also write them down like that in our script. It may work without them, but it's just good practice to do so. So we're going to write tweet deck.exe. So what we want to do now is save the file. So we're go going on to file and save as. And the name doesn't matter at all. So I just name it GTA launch. And as you see, the file type is already a batch file. And I'm just going to save it on my desktop. And as you see, the file appears, appears here. If you don't want to download Notepad++, which you just should because it's a great editor, you can uh, text editor for any languages that you could imagine, um, you just use the editor and what you want to do is also write the exact same commands which are also in the video description in there. Um, think about modifying them for your cases, for example if you don't have TweetDeck, just erase this line in general and add the ones that you want to close just by task f slash im and then followed by the application name. What you want to do in editor to save is also save as, in my case again on the desktop. I'm going to name it just GTA2 because it's a second file and I'm not going to use it anyway. Then you want to change file type to all file types and the encoding to UTF-8. You're going to save it and as you're now going to see, hmm, something doesn't work right. I have the text file, not this little um, gears up there. So I'm going to go to under save as and you want to name it GTA2 or anything. The important thing is that you put .bat at the file 
names end as a file type and select all file types right here. UTF-8 encoding is still selected. When you save it now, you see that we get these little gears and that it's exactly what setting batch as a language will do in Notepad++. And just for demonstrational purposes, I'm going to show you the edge of my Skype window. Whoops, that didn't work as I planned. The edge of my, oh come on, Windows, thanks. The edge of my Skype window, TweetDeck, and a little Chrome window. And if I'm now going to double click, double click this file, you will see that all of them close automatically. I hope I could help you. Bye, till the next time, game's not over.